Long before man invented farming, sowing seeds in hopes of a greater harvest, earthworms had already tilled and retilled every centimeter of soil. They made it fertile and favorable for plants to grow and thrive. The humble, tireless engineer and technician that is the earthworm must stand up to pitiless predators. Above ground, earthworms are the main prey for some breeds of birds. And below ground, they fall victim to the biggest and strangest of all European insects. The mole cricket, which can grow as long as 10 centimeters. This creature, little known except to gardeners whose plots they wreak havoc in, lives almost exclusively underground. It gets its name from its grasshopper-like body and powerful front legs that can clear earth as well as any digger. The mole cricket can eat like a horse. It devours everything in its path, plant roots, bulbs, and, unfortunately, earthworms. And if it wasn't bad enough dealing with their natural enemies, earthworms now have a previously unknown and extremely unsettling predator to reckon with. The Platyhelminthi, a flat worm from the other side of the globe that keeps expanding its territory. Jean-Louis Justine from the Museum of Natural History in Paris is one of the few scientists studying the spread of this unwelcome pest. Over the past few years, we've witnessed a new predator appear in Europe and France, platyhelminth, or flatworm, which lives on the ground. It's mainly active at night, so to see it during the daytime, you have to look under rocks or pieces of wood. Jean-Louis Justine is worried. In some regions, the proliferation of these carnivorous flatworms is starting to have a devastating impact on local earthworm populations. Platyhelminthes are a branch of the animal kingdom with marine origins. Some breeds emerged from the water and became land-dwelling in specific regions of the earth. Flatworms manage to adapt to a land environment, mainly in countries such as Australia, New Zealand, in the south of South America, in other words, several spots in the south of the southern hemisphere. Recently, these creatures have been turning up in Europe and France. They didn't get here on their own. Most of the time, they've hitched along with the transport of plants and earth like stowaways. The invasive species is indigenous to South America. More specifically, our new predator most likely comes from southern Brazil. The world's only scientific study of the distribution of this type of flatworm was carried out in France. The study has shown that it's no coincidence these predators have colonized the Atlantic coast. Because they originate in humid tropical regions, they can't survive in dry climates. Though this flatworm has only been recorded in France for about 10 years, it has already become a threat to soil integrity. It's not hard to understand that if earthworms disappear or drop in number, it will disrupt the soil and soil ecology.
Here's a flatworm hiding under this rock to escape the heat of the sun. As you can see, it's a few centimeters long. We see its head moving here. The other end is its tail. You might think its mouth is up near its head, but it's not. The mouth of the flatworm is located under its body in the middle. Here, this light-colored part. A pharynx comes out of its mouth and envelops the earthworm and digests it from the outside. When hunting, the flatworm glides along on a slimy mucus trail it excretes from its abdomen. To capture its prey, it presses close and wraps itself around it, immobilizing it and slowly devouring it with its abdominal mouth. The predator's victims are entirely dissolved by its gastric juices. These flatworms are hermaphrodites, which means each individual is both male and female. It takes two hermaphrodites to make babies. Flatworms can reproduce very quickly, at about the age of two weeks. At that point, it makes an egg cocoon that contains between five and ten little fully formed flatworms. So we can see how quickly they can invade an area. After just a couple of weeks, one flatworm has already produced about ten offspring. There is no effective way to fight against this flatworm. It is too recent in France to have any predators. With its rapid rate of reproduction and the fact there's currently nothing to keep it in check, the flatworm population is expanding faster and faster. In some regions, flatworms have decimated the earthworm population to such an extent that the soil has deteriorated. This soil is flooded. That's what happens when the earth is impermeable and won't let rainwater through. The role of the earthworm is to make holes in the soil to allow rainwater to penetrate. In Great Britain, another type of flatworm has invaded the British Isles. It has diminished the earthworm population, there are fewer earthworms, and the soil is less permeable and there are more and more flooded zones of this sort. How far will these flatworms go? Will we see entire regions made sterile because these intruders have exterminated the local worm population? The earthworm's high fertility rate may allow it to survive the flatworm's appetite. Depending on the species, an earthworm lays between three and 100 cocoons per year. Each cocoon contains about 10 eggs. Consequently, an adult earthworm can produce between 30 and 1,000 offspring each year. Unfortunately, not all soils are favorable to the propagation of our exceptional allies.